the Victorian government is considering locking down coronavirus hotspots after another 49 new cases were recorded in the state overnight. The state will also extend mandatory quarantines for people who refuse testing. Elias Kluwer reports from Melbourne. There are fresh concerns for Victorian health authorities today after 49 more cases were recorded in the state overnight. Now it's the largest increase in almost three months and it's the 12th day in a row where coronavirus figures have been in double digits. Now 26 of those positive tests came through routine testing, 19 are still under investigation and four are linked to known outbreaks. One of those known outbreaks is a family cluster which has now resulted in 21 positive cases. Now, the Premier, Daniel Andrews, expects case numbers to rise in Victoria given there's a testing blitz in 10 hotspot suburbs in Melbourne's north, northwest, and a suburb in Melbourne's outer east. 11,000 tests have been conducted in those areas since Thursday. The Premier also announced today that the state will be introducing mandatory testing for those return travellers in quarantine. If those travellers don't comply, they'll have to spend an extra 10 10 days in quarantine. Let's have a listen to the Premier. From last night, uh, the orders that uh, actually are the legal instrument that sits behind the hotel quarantine have been changed uh, and anyone who does not consent to a test uh, will not be able to leave hotel quarantine for a further 10 days, so their stay with us will be 24 days instead of 14. I think the saliva test will mean that that won't necessarily uh, be something we have to do. Uh, there is also the opportunity uh, open to us to fine anyone who does not agree to a test. The Premier also flagged the possibility of localised lockdowns in those 10 hotspot suburbs. He said he didn't want to announce anything today, but the state will do it if it needs to.